Hi, today I'd like to introduce you the Indicator Playground. The Indicator Playground feature allows you to visualize the relationship between the future stock price changes and the corresponding indicator changes. Uh, let me show you with an, an example what I mean by this. Here is a stock chart of WFM Whole Foods Market and with the RSI indicator shown below. Currently, Indicator Playground supports four indicators, RSI, MFI, CCI, and Mac, uh, William uh, percentage R. And as you can see, the indicator RSI here is fairly close to 30, 30 35 uh, right now. And 30, as you know, is oversold uh, value. And uh, a lot of traders would uh, use that as a buy signal when the RSI value touches or close to uh, 30 as a, a case here when the RSI value dipped below 30 at uh, 30 at uh, 27 here it would be a good buy um, and uh, RSI 70 indicates a over overbought condition and as used as a sell indicator sell signal so in this case, the price, uh, the closing price today is 29.19 and the RSI value is at 35. The question most people would ask is how much the price has to go down before the RSI reaches 30, hence it's your buy signal. And then you can set um, a limit order uh, on the market open tomorrow and to where that RSI 30 price to be. And you can simulate um, how low the price has to go before the RSI reaches a certain value with the indicator playground feature. And you can activate it by this icon, uh, a ruler icon here. Now you show, it gives you two cursors, the current close and, and the RSI value of tomorrow's open if tomorrow's price is at current closing price. So this RSI value, not to be confused with current RSI value at, at 35.025, this is tomorrow's future RSI value 35.9, the next session uh, RSI value, if the price were to be 29.19. And you can change, you can simply just drag this cursor like so, and and you can see the RSI value changes when you go up and go down. And you realize this: the changes in RSI value is not in linear proportion to the price, price changes. So this it's very useful in the regard that you can now set the limit price to uh, whatever the price that needs to be for the RSI to go to 30. So as you can see, the price will need to be at around 28.6 or 28.5 for the RSI to be at 30. And if it goes below that, RSI will go down. So an RSI trader would set a limit price at 28.5 um, at a buy uh, signal in this case. And you can see the usefulness of this is that you can actually also drag the, the indicator value and see where the, the price will go. And uh, now you can, you can drag the RSI to 30. around 30 and you see it gives you the same answer 28.5 ish and you can also see what if the stock goes up uh, what value does uh, what price will uh, the stock has to be for the stock to be at overbought uh, region at RSI 70 now you can see it's at um, the price has to go to 30 33.159 for it to be overbought in the next trading session.
So you can drag both uh, the price or indicator very freely and you can visualize graphically how uh, changes in one value affect the changes in another. It gives you a feeling of how at this particular uh, for this particular stock at for and uh, in this particular situation how price and the indicator correlates and um, i do have another uh, product called the reverse rsi calculator but it doesn't give you a visual um, feedback how uh, everything changes it's just the number uh, on the calculator it's quite simple and you can only specify uh, the RSI value and uh, will give you the price and doesn't allow you to change the price and see the changes in RSI value. And I, the indicator playground uh, also supports not just RSI but um, three other indicator as of now and more can be added on the user uh, feedback. Let's look at uh, another example, CCI and uh, it, this works exactly the same. CCI is unbounded indicator in that it's unlike RSI it's bounded between 0 and 100, CCI is unbounded and can, can be increased uh, to plus and to minus infinity. And you can see the, uh, the upper bound of the, the, pre the chart, price, price chart also changes as you drag to the boundary. And of course, uh, the lower bound is zero for the price. And uh, to reset the the upper and lower bound of the price charges, just just hit refresh, and it will go back to normal uh, scale. 